Hello guys and welcome back to Let's Play Amnesia the Dark Descent. We are on part 5 now. And we have these two rods that we got from the cellar. Now, I don't really know what you can do, but I remember seeing something about it having to do with with this thing and I know that it doesn't work, so maybe Okay, doesn't that doesn't work? All right. So, we are now because I'm pretty sure we can't go through this door. Try to do that on... Yeah, it's locked. So, we unfortunately have to go up here, which, to be honest, I don't really want to go up here because every single room in this damned place is not happy. So here we go. We are going to enter the study, which is what we entered in part three or four, I believe, because I wasn't sure what to do down in the cellar. But here we go. Because Herbert's trunk was wrapped in rope. The lock had been broken by thieves, he assumed. He wondered if anything had been left, considering- I feel like I've read this. I may have. I don't know. Load faster, my pet. Load faster. Load- ah, there we go. Alrighty. So... What the hell is that? Okay, that looks like a perfectly normal picture. This looks like a perfectly normal room. To be honest, it really does look normal. Um, okay, head is pounding. That's... That's always good. We're off to a good start. Yeah, I'm already starting to get a little freaked out. Ah, that's... I knew it. I knew there was a tinderbox around here. Got eight tinderboxes. I would say that's... Decent. We're gonna actually light this. So I don't want to waste my lantern juice. So if I waste that, I am screwed. Because as you can see, I honestly do not have much left. Something's wrong. Oh, so wrong. Okay, well that's a nice introduction to this room. I keep hearing creepy noises. Alright, sanity is pretty good now. We should be able to traverse this room with no problems, I'm hoping. I love that. I love that in games when you can, like, tilt sideways. I've always liked that. Okay. Aha! Speaking of lantern... Um... Uh... Oh, I thought I saw someone out there. It was... Cracked window panes are held together only by a weak wooden frame. Ooh, ooh! Hold on. I bet you if I throw something at it, it will... It will break. I bet you a cross would do it. That looks pretty heavy. Thank you, Mr. Cross, for being there when we need you. Bam! Or not. I guess I need something heavier. All right. Oh, a stuffed dog and blood on the table and a dog head. Why am I not so... Oh, man, are we going to encounter demon dogs? Oh, hello. There needs to be more voice acting in this. <clears throat> After a short study, it is clear that the agitation found among humans can be found in the dog. Fear and pain induce stress, which seem to trigger an endogenous response, causing the animal to burst with energy. I believe that the catalyst is produced in the brain. It is difficult to determine exactly where and what it is, but I can sense it. It reeks of cosmic gen genesis. Screw you, Dylan, for messing that up. There is an inherent problem in harvesting this energy since the creature is bound to die from the exercise. I must refine this process of torture to enable any real work to be done. More experiments must be performed, but it seems that the only human beings are or seems that only human beings are able to produce the amount of necessary. Good job on messing that up. It might be their ability to appreciate the severity of the process that ultimately augments their experience of terror. Okie do. That's not creepy. I'm gonna put you on the table so you're out of my way. 
Let's see what you have to offer. Uh. Ah, what a mess. I should have sharpened the saw. But I can sense it. It's definitely there. All right, I'm surprised PETA is not all over this. Hello, dead bird. Hello. Room. Is that the guy that we are trying? Oh. Boobies. Ooh, another letter. Once again, no voice. Further disappointment. The antiquarian's latest findings yielded nothing. I'm still unable to grasp the inner workings of life and its relation to the power I sense within it. I shall pursue more books on the subject, but I suspect it will be in vain. Since no research has been made in my particular interest, I must attempt to fill that void myself. Clearly humans emanate more of the energy I seek, but I hope animals will suffice as they provide less of a hassle to require... or acquire. Okay... Anything else around here? There's got to be something in one of these drawers. See? What did I say? Nothing in that one. Holy Jesus! Who? <laughs> okay. Wow, um... Alright! Hello there, fire. Could you make my head feel better? Oh, crap. My sanity went down. I have a feeling they're gonna try and s Whoa! Oh. Okay, that's not that bad. That's kinda creepy. Chambers of the humans. I keep hearing dogs. This- this has to have something to do with dogs. What the hell is that? Ah, uh, did we come to another room where we can't do anything? I'm going to take that as a yes. Apparently, we need something. So this room is... Oh, that's a cross. This room is not very helpful as of right now. Although, I do indeed want to leave it. Alright, let's go to the other room, which is right next to this one. He returned the teacup to the saucer and picked up the orb as one would an apple and pondered on the strange happenings. Really nice that there's this little sanctuary here. Let's see, what's this? Guest room. Oh, God. This is probably where he tortured humans. I'm just saying. Is this another dream? He thought, and screamed at the top of his lungs. It is not a dream, Daniel. It is. Hello, bright light. My channel is gone. What they want with my journal? What would they want with your journal, Daniel? These are the things I ponder at night. Well, it is nice and bright in here. I am happy. Uh, there is a tinder box. Aha! That might be what opens that that window. Second of July, eighteen thirty-nine. I received a letter today from the Algerian governor's office disclosing the fate of Herbert's expedition. About a week after my departure, Abdullah, one of the men traveling with us, returned from the desert. He was badly injured, as if maimed by a lion. The man rambled deliriously about the expedition being attacked by something horrible. The French quickly dispatched a search party to look for the expedition. After searching for days, they found the camp abandoned without any trace of Herbert or his men. Tomorrow, I'll retrieve the things they recovered from Herbert's tent at the customs house. I don't know what to make of it, but I'm worried for him. You know, on a review I saw of this game, uh, a, lot of the, a lot of the people said that the voice acting was good at parts, but then it turned to be just plain silly. Now, I, honestly, I have not encountered that. The voice acting has actually been superb, in my opinion. It seems to fit pretty well. That's just me, though. But I I think it has been good. Ooh, another letter. But first, we're going to check the drawer. 
something in them. 3rd of July, 1839. Today I picked up Herbert's things at the customs house. I dug through the trove of documents he had carried and found a log detailing the expedition. The nature of this text ranged from quick notes to colorful accounts of transpired events. I skimmed the pages, trying to figure out what might have happened. May 17th, the day I was trapped inside the orb chamber, Herbert dryly states, recovered Daniel after one hour of entrapment. This confused me greatly. I was suffocating within minutes. How could I have lasted an hour? I continued reading the peculiar text. Herbert states his facts without judgment or passion, but suddenly I could read frustration into his text. He pushed his men to investigate the underground tomb, an effort which seems to have strained the minds of his men. Madness spread through the ranks, and Herbert had to take some extreme measures to continue. He finally visits the chamber himself, where he retrieves the orb to the surface. His account confuses me greatly. If he has the orb, what are those pieces in my drawing room? So as I said, I did the... Oh, hello, cockroach. I did the trial, or the little demo first, before I bought the actual game. Now, when you do the actual game, the beginning, it's completely different than the trial. You find this orb, and then that's, that's kind of what he's talking about, so... Okay... Oops, wrong one. Find another way to open the closet in the guest room. Do I use this giant crowbar that I have? Ho oh, ho! Well, I was right. The key. Please let it be here. Um, an important key is hidden in the guest room. Oh. oh. Holy shit! Oh, oh! Please. Please be a stupid monster and not... Holy Jesus, I hear him! <laughs> uh, Alright. I, I am not moving! Oh, I'm not in here. I am not in here. Go away. I'm not in here. Oh, man. Whoo! Wait, wait a second. What was that sound? I, 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 I heard like a metal door open. Hmm, these monsters are actually quite smart, it seems. Open the bottom one. Shirt. All right. Last letter. Fourth of July. Good. 1839. It's done. The orb is assembled. I was awakened by an exhausting nightmare. Shaking and sweating, I retired to the drawing room with a cup of tea. The relic pieces lay spread across the table as I'd left them, but somehow I knew how it was supposed to be. I fetched the tar, which I had prepared to fix the pieces together, and without fault I joined them, producing the orb I remembered so clearly. The tar proved unnecessary. It was pushed out from the joining pieces as they merged on their own, with no adhesive. The ancient stone relic now rests on my table. Its immaculate surface and perfect shape could have been molded by a factory. This is all too strange. All right, guys, we're going to end it here, but I will see you on the next episode. Thank you so much for watching. Don't forget to subscribe if you want to see more videos like this or check out my other videos. It's cool whatever you do. I will see you on the next episode. My name is Banana Pie Lord.